Welcome to the Photography Diaries podcast. I'm your host, David Scott Bowles. And I am your co-host, Dragon. On this podcast, we talk about anything and everything photography. And on today's episode, we're talking about AI and how you can either implement it in your workflow, whether you love it, whether you hate it, um, and everything in between. So, uh, Lejean, what do you think about AI right now in the, in the workspace? I feel like it could make you or break you, just that period, um, because it does give a a range of new. Well, how do I say it? It gives it a. Uh, my bad, bro. <laughs> well, it's been a minute since it's, we did yeah, this. It's, it's been a while. New setup, y'all. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. I'm going to start over. Um, basically, with AI, it gives the average person the ability to do certain things that a lot of people been training yeah. for their yeah. whole life you know um but at the same time too i was just telling my buddy it was funny we were just talking about this yesterday you still have to have a name have a reputation yeah. have a portfolio just because you know how to do it don't mean people are going to pay you to do it yeah so why not as me and you like to say us we have a clientele we people know our names like that's just how it is and we start applying that to our work in certain areas, it's just gonna help our workflow. Yeah, for so, sure. I love it. I love it. Um it's so when crazy. when AI first came out, I I was well, when AI was popular, like with Mid Journey and um, all these other apps where people were creating work off of just using ai i right. was completely against it i was like dude like that, that's not art like you're just typing in prompts and this computer's doing it and you're calling your own i was completely against that um i'm an ambassador for an ai company called aftershoot and we aftershoot. <laughs> use my code harlow 10 <laughs> check out <laughs> and uh so you know they are an ai calling and editing software so you could basically, it, what it does is basically learns your edits. You can create a profile and it will continue to learn how you do things. Um, it oh, also- that that shit you was doing? You had to upload like 5,000? Yeah, yeah. Photos. So, and then it also has like culling, which is basically selecting your images um, on the back end of photography. And so it was kind of like, I kind of felt weird to be like, oh, I'm using AI, but I hate AI. But then I had to really sit back and think. And it's like, you know what? If you- I mean, it's just like anything else that's new in the world that comes out. I mean, I'm sure people are against cell phones at one point, right? Right. So I think if you use it as a tool, whether in, instead of using it to replace something or cr use it to create or anything like that, and you use it as a tool to make the job that you're doing already either easier, faster, or better, mm -hmm. I feel like that is the right way to use AI. Oh, for sure. So For sure. Because at the... At the end of the day, too, it lacks emotion. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you could tell, like, that's, I was just listening to you saying that it chooses your photos yeah. after. What if you like that one that has something that's blurry yep. in there, you know, like, oh, it exactly. just hits right, you know? So it's it's never going to fully be able to be us, replace yeah. us. No, nope. People can say that all they want, but yeah. it can't. Honestly, you probably could find something where it chops up a video for you, but it cannot put that emotion, like what you wanted to create when you were shooting it. Because I shoot to edit. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, because I, I love this part. Like, I'm going to use this part. And then you can put it through your AI shit, and they won't even pick that clip for you. Yeah. Or, and it's just like, you know, so it, it And that's never. kind of like a good thing, too, because even with, so with um, Aftershoot, you know, I still have to, it's not 100%. It's never 100%. I still have to go in there, even with the edits, I still have to go in there and make some fine fine tune adjustments. Oh, yeah. Does it speed up the entire workflow? Absolutely. It, it helps me out, um, but it's still not 100%. I still have to go in, even though, and like what you said with the blurry photos, right? That's one of the categories where when you select it, it's like not to select a blurry photo or eyes closed. I do a lot of eyes closed portraits. Close your eyes. It's romantic. You don't um, Photoshop eyes open anymore? <laughs> so, you know. You know they have that. I know. They do. And that, that's gonna crazy. That's going to be the, the. We could still cuss. The laws haven't changed, right? No, I, I don't think so. All right. So I'm going to just. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. This is uh, an 18 and over podcast no, <laughs> i drove by uh, high school today it might be 14 <laughs> so um 
you know, Photoshop, it's been out for a while and we talked about doing this, this podcast a, a minute ago. So we are a little bit behind on all these, these topics we're going to be bringing up, but, um, Photoshop released their, um, generative fill, which is an AI based oh. editing thing built into Photoshop beautiful. right now. And there was so much like hate against it. And when it first came out, I'll, I'll tell you, like I was kind of skeptical until I used it for a, as a tool not to create i wasn't changing i wasn't manipulating i was using it as a tool so mm -hmm. um i do a lot of composite shots um not composite photography but i do shots where it's like i need to remove somebody so i'll take a plate image so i'll take one photo of the um with the lighting assistant in it i'll have him move and then i'll take another photo without so i can mask him out ai said you're doing too much yeah Let straight up like it's gone now you do not have to take a plate photo. and it's so crazy because i've even like i've tested it in ways where i'm like there's no way that it's gonna fucking get oh this. it does it and it does it and it's flawless and it's quick and um like using it for that and there's other things too like if you're a real estate um, photographer, which actually I just watched uh, a friend of mine do this on with it. And it was funny. I was like, see, that's what that tool is for. Mm -hmm. So removing cars used, used to be such a pain in the ass, like in real estate to where you would have to, if you didn't take a plate image or you didn't take a photo of the side, it would just take hours to try to brush oh, that yeah. out. Now it's one click. One click. One click, man. So I just did a music video and at the end they wanted a, uh, R.I.P. picture okay. of somebody. And the picture that I had was very cropped of the guy, maybe like yeah. head to mid chest. And I had a little bit of cloud behind it. So I guess it was cropped for Instagram. Yeah. So I had just a, a smidget of cloud around the edges and I expanded it. Nice. And then I hit just generative fill. Bro, gave me everything and I was able to put the words and everything. And it was just like so perfect. Bro. Oh my I gosh. I love it, bro. I, I, I've used I've used AI to extend scenes in a music video, so a static yeah. shot. I, I've seen that in Premiere. They oh. they have that in Premiere now, where you can actually send the shot. Like you could send the screenshot of um, your video clip into Final Cut directly, or not mm -hmm. Final Cut into uh, Premiere directly. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm a Final Cut user. <laughs> so you can go from Premiere to Photoshop with the screenshot, manipulate that screenshot and then send it back into premiere like i've that's crazy i've seen um My last video like masking you could do there's like the ai masking now in premiere which is insane um but like final cut really needs to like catch up with certain things no and no no just let them <laughs> stay where they are you don't need to look this way do your thing and we will do ours okay we don't need everything I mean, to be the you know same. there's there's so many i think ai tools right now and there's a lot of people that are, are worried about like oh ai is going to you know take our jobs or do this and terminators I, terminators i don't think that that is going to happen i really don't i feel like ai is here to really assist us and make our jobs more efficient i don't want to say easier before it takes over the world before it takes over the yeah, world exactly yeah, i robot oh, yeah, for sure. i mean i can't wait to have an ai girlfriend ain't gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> i think they have that already don't they in, in asia they have everything they have everything they have everything. let's find out <laughs> that's why he takes his trips yep he comes back and tells us about all the i program i program my ai girlfriend in japan like Say I'll be back in a year. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> just make sure you pay the bills. Yeah, just pay the bills. Take a, take a nice long nap. Um, have you? Is there anything? Is there any AI out there that I feel like you or that you've been using in your workflow, whatever it be? Like, what do you think is like the number one AI that you're using right now? <clears throat> um, right now I use a lot of uh, Adobe Firefly. Okay. Um, I do a lot of treatments. Yeah. And sometimes you just can't get that visual to go with your treatment that you're writing. So, you know, I'm looking for a rapper standing next to a car. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, you can find that all day. That's not what I type, but um, it's usually more creative. But it gives me just a amazing visual representation of what I'm looking for. So when I send these treatments off, they have a better idea of just 
Usually, I feel like if you send somebody a treatment and you use a lot of stuff from other people's music video, it kind of give a feel. Of, oh, I don't want my video to look like their video. Yeah. You know, that's how it happens sometimes. Okay. Not all the time. But when you give them something fresh, like those new eyes, like, oh, I've never seen nothing like that before. You know, they have. But, you know, it's just like they never seen it in that way. Yeah. And you put your own little twist on it. So that's pretty much what I've used mostly is Adobe Firefly um or mid journey but it's been a dopey firefly mainly i haven't figured out mid journey yet i don't i don't know how to use discord so <laughs> tell me about it I've, d d d these technologies i'm talking to you out there these technologies have been making me feel kind of aged yeah i mean i feel like once you figure it out you know it's definitely easier but there's there's certain things out there like mid journey to me is just like I can't figure it out and i don't want to figure it out it's, it's not something it's I'm like use. a whole new language yeah like the the way that it's like it could have all been so simple yeah you know and i sound like an old man saying <laughs> that. Like, back in my day like back but in, it just it, it's day. it just feels like things are oversimplified like undersimplified like they just using code and and you got to jump through loops to do the simplest thing so it's just i know they created it that way yeah for a reason but <laughs> shit so i find myself using um uh, chat gbt obviously because what do you use it for i use it for almost everything contracts he, write, he writes raps yeah right camera raps yeah oh. no <laughs> um i've used it for contracts i've used it for proposal emails mm -hmm. um clients that like are tough clients that you don't know how to respond to i have a very hard time with empathy so i don't know how to like <laughs> Because you're an asshole. Yeah, I don't know how to, like, say things nice. So oh, I know. I will just, I'll use chat GPT sometimes. And sometimes it That's gets a little. That's the funniest shit that I've heard in my entire <laughs> life. Right. Wait a minute. I bro. use an AI to I don't know how emotion. to talk to people. Yep. I just said it don't have emotion. And you're using it for emotion. Yeah. Okay, then maybe I was wrong. Yeah, it has emotion. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it says some weird shit and I have to get in there and be like, that does not sound like anything anybody would say. <laughs> Let me take that out. It um, says I use ChatGPT. What else am I using? I use the Photoshop. I don't use it a lot, but like I said, I only use it if I need to take things out or maybe replace something or remove something. Um, I've used it three times. I've definitely used it more. I've used that. it three <laughs> times, but I've played with it numerous oh, yeah. times. Dude, it's so fun to like to actually just sit on there and like play with it. <laughs> like I've actually, I was um making this photographer that i follow like <laughs> it changes like hair and his outfit and like all this shit and i kept making making him like make it look like he was ripped like i kept putting like <laughs> bodybuilder and i was like make him make him be a bodybuilder and it kept making him hold a baby and i was like oh what is gosh. it doing and the baby looked all deformed and like weird and like it, it was so funny too because you know how how it gives you like the three um versions yeah it was like a white baby an asian baby <laughs> i was like what is this thing doing <laughs> i have a i have a buddy who's been taking old pictures of mine i don't know which program he uses yeah. but he was like bro can i just use some of your celebrity photos and he'll take them and he'll create something like he made in a lee chopper look like goku bro just like this rip oh i hair. think i know what you're talking about i've been seeing people do things like that and like crazy. um there's a video ai I, I haven't really used ai in video as much mm -hmm. um but i've seen a video ai where people do that they plug in the scene and it like will render it to like look like a crazy comic but it looks good oh you mean uh, like where each frame it like changes yeah oh, yeah that's just I, crazy i've seen people do that in a lot of music videos um kind of over <laughs> yeah it's crazy we at right now where we at dave 15 minutes, not bad. Oh, doing, pretty pretty good. doing pretty good. So I would honestly, like I said, I don't don't be scared to use AI um, in your Never. business. Um, it's it's a tool is there to help you. Um, don't overuse it. I would definitely say that. You, and you um, definitely, I see that out there. And a then, lot. Uh, what else? Um, what do you think the next AI thing is in our field, or what would you like to see? What I like to see, that's good. Honestly, I think I would love to see like, which they might have, and I just don't know about. But I would love to have like an AI um, social media manager, 
to where it's not necessarily uh, because they they have like you know VAs, virtual assistants, and stuff like that. But I would love to have like an AI plugin where I'm like it runs my social media kind of automatically or certain ones. Like I'm really bad on Facebook, so I'd love to like plug in that and be like, hey, like same thing like prompt wise where I'm like, hey, run um run an ad once a month and engage with people and um just build up that you know like that would be really really cool um to have so if there's any software developers out there i want 10 (laughs) percent. i mean look apparently this is how the world works say that you're going to start a company that makes this and then it's going to pop up you know I, i just saw um i was watching a video actually yesterday you said that this guy uses so there, this guy used chat GBT to create a company that was going to, it was like, he wanted to make a million dollars in a week or something like that. I don't know if he did it or whatever, but like it's, he created this company and like chat GPT wrote the entire business plan, told him exactly how to do it. I'm like, Oh my God, this thing is crazy. Like, um, so, um, next episode, we're going to ask chat, B- chat GBT to write us an episode and we're going to see what that sounds like. Oh, that'd be dope. That'd actually be a cool episode. Yeah. We'll just read the script the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, that's going to be funny. You. I like that. I, we're going to do that. Gonna that's going to be that. dope. Um, I would like to see that too. That's actually, I didn't even think about that shit, but that'd be fun. Yeah. Just like a virtual assistant AI that does that. So I actually went to a... Um, I went to an AI launch for this company called Aphid, and they have something that's kind of similar to that, but it's, I don't know, I couldn't figure it out because, like, the, the honestly, the, the app was kind of confusing, but that's kind of where they were going with it, where it was like, this app is going to just basically, it's supposed to make you money in your sleep because that was where yeah. they were trying to, like, pitch it to. to. Um, but, yeah, I think that's... AI, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's all we can talk about for now. Um, oh, I got a new website. You got a new website? Yeah. Yeah? You want to you pitch it to him? Do you want to hear it? Let's hear it. DragonMediaElite.com. DragonMediaElite.com. Not sponsored, but sponsored. Not sponsored, <laughs> but sponsored. Guys, it's been we a minute. This, so he has to put it. Oh, is he gonna, I'm going to put it right here. Right, right here. Something. Like this. Like yeah, this. Something. We'll do one and of these. And if you can use things. AI to fix it you know <laughs> <laughs> oh man there's actually ai or there's already ai website builders um the guys over at um book focal created an ai website builder um i haven't checked it out i don't use their their platforms but i know about it so that's kind of cool i know that's out there it'd be dope for an ai like uh effect builder like for videos that'd be dope. oh like almost like yeah like I, I really want this really cool da, 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 and then it just like generates it for you. Right, like that'd be dope as fuck. That'd be cool. AI effect generator plugin. Who's making that Me. for us? All right. Well, uh you know, you can't give me everything what this does. the what does first this do? time. Hold on. Oh, Dang, I I got it first that. time. Yeah. All right, guys, it has been a while. I know that we took a little hiatus on the uh, podcast, and we're back. This is, I don't even know what season this is. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, but welcome the Xbox. It's the one. Yeah, this is the <laughs> one. Um, we are back. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm David Scott Bowles. You can follow me at David Scott Bowles, and this is my co-host, Dragon. You can follow me at the dragon he changed it e e dragon yes i know he changed it i was i don't like being the same forever i jump around you know but everybody knows me as dragon that's all i need just dragon until i get a instagram the guy who has ed dragon he doesn't even do anything with his page give me the name he needs that name i need it um thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one Peace. peace